What books are you using in your sermon prep as you go through the Gospel of John? Good question. I am dipping in mainly to three. Number one, Don Carson's commentary on John. Number two, uh, Andre Kostenberger's. And number three, Ritterwas and Calvin less, but some. The reason for those three is that uh, I trust Don Carson and I admire his uh, care. And he's done a lot of historical work. Uh, and I feel the same way about Kostenberger. And they complement each other. They're very similar. And uh, what one sees, the other tends to see. But sometimes they see different things. The reason for Ritterboss, <coughs> I think it's called on the front of the commentary, um, a, a theological commentary or something like that. And, and he just asks questions that are a little different. And he's very provocative. And I find him stirring me up to the big pictures, the big issues, rather than the more immediate textual issues. Just how does it relate to the rest of the gospel? How does it relate to the big picture of God and the categories that are in the other parts of the Bible? Uh, it's good to read somebody outside your own century. And so uh, Calvin is there because I was saying this to my wife the other day. What, what were we talking about? Well, I can't remember, but but I, I said, oh, I was complaining about Calvin, that when I went to get help on the so that in John fifteen sixteen, he didn't even say a word about it. <laughs> How can you not talk about this? This is huge. I'm going to build my whole point on this. And And she pointed out, as we all know, his whole set of questions in his day were different. And therefore, you, you get another window on the text that you don't get any other way if you don't read somebody outside your culture or your century because they're, they're, the whole set of questions is, is different. And that's really valuable because we got our blinders. And if we only ask our set of questions, we might miss what's, what's there. So he may not have seen, or he may not have just commented on what I'm seeing, but I'm going to not see what he sees often.